so meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city center, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina against England. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Giovanni Lo Celso. De Paul. And they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Can he put them in front? And it's come off the keeper. Making sure nothing came of it. Kane. Declan Rice. Mount. Rice with it. Opportunity here. Could be. Oh, the angle was acute. Well, I don't think anybody was expecting him to shoot from there. That was really close. Messi. Martinez. Might go ahead. Oh, there's the goal! There's the opener! How about that? Well, as you can see, he's a great talent. What a run, what a goal, and what a play he is. And England get us moving again. A quick response required after the setback. And a fine tackle. Well, foul play, says the referee. Paredes. Rodrigo de Paul. Messi. Can he finish? And a goal to increase the lead in this final. Will they be stopped now? Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. Goal. It's a lovely goal. For so, 2-0 now. Number 22, Lutaro Martinez. Harry Kane. A very effective challenge put in. And play halted, free kick given. Mount. Hop could reduce the deficit. And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Inching towards the interval, and it's going with home advantage. Stewart, as always, very keen to get your take. Well, from an opportunity it is. And a goal! They're running riot here, almost out of sight. Well, you have to ask, where's the defending? The keeper is completely exposed, but he still had to finish it, and he did it really well. It's a good goal. Goal. Blistering first half display, Argentina. and just look at that score. Messi. As far as stoppage time is concerned, three minutes here. Rodrigo de Paul. In for the chance. Can he convert? A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, just look at this again. He's so hard to knock off the ball once he gets going. Of goal course the defending could be better, but that's a great individual goal. Number 10, Lionel Messi. And the ball is rolling again. England left with a massive mountain to climb here in the second half. Can they respond? Calvin Phillips. Well-timed tackle. Giovanni Lo Celso. Di Maria. Can he finish this? A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. Goal. My goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Effective challenge. Molina. Rodrigo de Paul. Romero. Otamendi. Now well Molina. 
and into the last 30 minutes now. Going well. And the keeper got there. And still danger here. Well, I'm afraid it goes down as a wasted opportunity. Well, no excuses. He should have scored there, and the goalkeeper got really lucky. He can't believe it. Watered by the first. Cleared away comprehensively. Di Maria. Di Maria! And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. Here it is now, a substitution. Struggling to get it away. Well, a good tackle. Well, he's lost it. Opportunity! And the verdict of the officials is offside. Well, he just gets caught ball watching here. Needs to be more alive. Work harder to keep onside and be ready for the chance. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Foden. And the danger is averted. Dybala. Well, I won't get tired of watching this. It's an outstanding bit of play. Just look how far he runs with the ball. That's a great goal. goal. Oh, it's an out and out pasting. 6 0. And there goes the final whistle. For the third time in history, Argentina have won the World Cup. And I have to say, Derek, they've been the best team in the tournament. There's no doubt about that.